Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spell the T anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking is Tiffany, the new Ashley Darby from Real Housewives of Potomac, is her role on the show now uh, to continue to get a check on Love and Marriage Huntsville uh, by being pregnant and using the pregnancy as an excuse to be very messy and ask very messy and inappropriate questions. Some of the questions are what some of the fans want to know. But then there's just some things that are just kind of out of bounds. There's some looks, there's some comments that are just completely out of bounds. And it is giving, I need this check. It is giving that I was told by production that if I do not bring it this season, uh, that I'm on the chopping block, right? And so we've seen this before on Real Housewives of Potomac where we've seen Ashley really since season one has always aired out other people's mess, has always been the messy one, right? And then um, Giselle has also decided to produce the show as well. They're unofficial um, executive producers of Real Housewives of Potomac of facilitating the drama and facilitating mess, right? And, um, you know, and now that seems to be Tiffany's role on this show. It seems to be her role and to use the pregnancy as the excuse to to be messy. And it's not okay, you guys. It is not okay because what's going to happen is people are going to be afraid to say how they truly feel because they don't want to look like they're coming for a pregnant woman. Now, on the other side of this, right, is the extreme in which uh, we are going to see in an upcoming episode of Marceau and Martel ganging up on Tiffany. And that I do not agree with. I feel like you can articulate your thoughts without it escalating to that point. And I feel as though, you know, number one, they shouldn't even be involved. Uh, this was a conversation between Tiffany and Sheree. Why Marceau was even involved is beyond me. It has nothing absolutely to do with him. Why Martel continues to insert himself into drama with women, uh, but has no smoke for any of the men that he talks about behind their back. I, uh, you know, is beyond me as well, right? But this notion where you know you can give a pass, you can get a pass for being messy because you're pregnant. No, 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 no. Like I said, there is a way to call out Tiffany if you feel that she is out of bounds, that she is inappropriate in some of her questioning, and um, and articulate that, right? I, uh, but this whole thing where we're going to just like run to the husbands and, and have the husbands gang up on her. No, 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 That's not okay either, you know, and I'm sure Sheree can probably hold her own, um, when this conversation does air, I'm presuming this coming Saturday, I will be able to see everything play out and see ultimately what is going to happen with this. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just not a good look for Tiffany to, to do this. Um, but I did also feel Kiki's comment about, at least I know where my father is. Like that was, that was, that was, that was awful. You guys, that was a low blow and was completely unnecessary. I get Kiki. It might've been an offhand comment or throwing shade, but I mean, there's other ways to handle that, right? Um, all because you didn't like how, you know, Tiffany says that she knows of you, but doesn't know you right even though your child played on um her husband's uh baseball team or what have you i uh, so so there's that you know like i feel like like i said uh the show you know seems to just it, it's like now they're just picking at anything producers are trying to pick at anything to cause conflict because Melody Sheree is not giving them that energy anymore. Melody Sheree is no longer giving the reaction that people are looking for so that they can justify uh, poking the bear, right? So now what is happening is we're seeing Kiki, we're seeing Tiffany, we're seeing other cast members be the ones to deliver the mess, right? But there also needs to be some boundaries in place. There's a way for you to articulate your stuff without it, you know, going to a whole nother level speaking of blizzard um you know that you can say what you really feel right 
So we'll continue to monitor because I want to see the fallout of this because I was very disturbed when we saw in the trailer uh, about, you know, Marceau talking about slapping a woman. Like, make it make sense. And I have a feeling that because of the backlash of that, they are going to edit out that scene just like they edited out a lot of the tea party scene because I thought, uh, from what I recalled in the trailer, that Blizzard said a lot worse things in that trailer. And somehow it was left on the cutting room floor by the time we actually got to the episode. I wonder why, right? I wonder why. Um, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.